Since Joe Pirol landed in the championship, he has blown Swansea fans away with his performances. If you're talking about debut seasons, this is like the mother of all debut seasons. He scored 22 goals in 45 games, and that is really good to say that he really was a value for money signing. He joined Swansea for a million pounds, which is absolute pennies, and he's had a lot of success at under-19 level for the Netherlands. He scored eight goals in 13 games. 22-year-old Piro also played for Sparta Rotterdam when he was loaned out by PSV, the club where everything started for him. Piro is underrated, and I think that he's not been talked about as much because of Alexander Mitrovic and Ben Brereton and Diaz's goal-scoring exploits. Maybe even King Lewis Potter can be added to that list. Joel Piro hasn't necessarily always got that level of praise that he's entitled to. And I say entitled because making these kind of strides in your first season in the Foreign Countries League is certainly very impressive. One thing that strikes me, he shoots with a lot of power and precision. Accuracy is a key part of Perot's game. He relies on instinct and shoots when he feels it's appropriate to do so. This usually is often with inside the box on the um, left-hand side. And he can cut in on the right-hand side because his strongest foot is his left foot. He attacks on the wing mainly so that he can cut into the box. So when you are running on the wing, you can run straight down, cut in, make another little cut, and then take your shot. Perot is very good and obsessive about that. He's best suited to a 4-3-3 formation, playing as a centre forward. Being the centre forward allows him to shoot in the goal, towards the goal more from a straight run, rather than cutting in. Now, playing on the wing for him allows build-up play. Playing centrally and as a centre forward allows shooting a goal. I think that he's done both very successfully. He doesn't really mind where he plays. He can play wing or striker. Um, but it's already been one season in England and already clubs are wanting him. I think I can see why. And if Swansea's going to sell him, they're going to want a big fee for him. I'd say maybe around £15 million or something like that for Piro. If he stays for another season, Swansea can really do a bigger promotion push because he's going to be an integral part of that team. Um, these are the kind of forwards that make headlines in the championship. Piro has made noise, but he hasn't been able to make as much noise because of Mitrovic breaking the season uh, high for goals. So... A record is there to be broken. If he stays one more season, I don't see why Perot cannot do it. I really can't. And then the phone calls will start coming in for him.